What up, guys? It's your boy, Wild Beasy Baby. And I am here to react to the 2020 edition of Turning Point, brought to us by TNA Impact. This is an event that goes all the way back to 2000. For many times, it is better than Bound for Glory, and this time it was no exception. Right away, I'm gonna say this event was absolute thunder, much better than Bound for Glory. And Bound for Glory was great, so I mean, that's saying a lot. Uh, speaking of surprises, right off the bat, we had Davari almost, almost, he was this close to defeating Eddie Edwards. I'm not going to lie, that was shocking. Especially when he kept throwing Eddie Edwards into the ring post. His head, his shoulders, his knees, and his fucking toes kept going into that shit over and over again. At least like three or four times during the match. I mean, it was getting gnarly. Like, Davari was putting a hurting on this man. And I, I really thought he was going to win, but somehow, some way at the end, Eddie came out with a little bit of a comeback, and it was just enough to get the victory. That match was a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be. And uh, no disrespect to Davari, but I just, I'm not used to him having, like, these really good, like, bang-up, kick-ass matches. Like, it's just, when you think of Davari, you don't think of that. But tonight, he proved to us that he is capable, very, very capable, of having those spectacular matches. Oh, yes. And then, later in the show, we had Diana Perrazzo taking back her Impact Women's World Championship. She is now a two-time Knockouts Champion. It was a great match. It was physical. They beat the shit out of each other, man. Good Lord. That was awesome. Really, really enjoyed that. I'll tell you what else was awesome. Seeing Moose kick the shit out of Willie Mack. That was another fun, uh, hard-hitting match indeed. I really recommend you guys go back and watch that one especially. Moose and Willie Mack did not disappoint. But what I thought was a blunder was the ending. We thought Moose had won when he got the ref stoppage. And then he, he hit him like a couple more times and the ref reversed his decision. I mean, I've seen people get the shit kicked out of them way worse after a match and the ref not do anything. The ref was uh, flexing his muscles just a little bit too much there. Reversing the decision over a couple extra strikes. I mean, literally, it was only a couple extra strikes. And he reversed the decision. I thought that was bullshit. I did. Definitely match of the night. Was seeing Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson finally become... The Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions by defeating the North. And it kind of reminded me of the first match a little bit. You know, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson really got a hurt and put on them, especially Carl Anderson at the first part of that match. Like, it, it was not looking good for the Good Brothers at all. And then they came back at the end strong, hit that magic killer for the one, two, three. I'm not going to lie, that was way, way too sweet seeing that happen. That put a genuine smile on my face. And it was only a day after Talking Shop of Mania 2. We're hoping we get a Talking Shop of Mania 3. 
Oh yes, without a doubt. And in the main event, we had Rich Swan taking on Sammy Callahan. And I enjoyed that match a lot better than last month's uh, main event on Impact's uh, pay-per-view uh, Bound for Glory. I, I, just, I did not like that main event. And this main event, I didn't think I was going to like it too much either, but it was damn good. Rich Swan and Sammy Callahan put on one magnificent, fun, brutal, stiff, and I mean stiff match. Like especially toward the end, those nasty, lethal kicks that Rich Swan was throwing on Sammy Callahan. Man, that shit was lethal, man. I thought he was going to like break his jaw or maybe mess up his cornea or tear like an eyelid out or something. Like it, Those kicks were no joke. Nothing to uh, trifle with at all. Rich Swan showed why he is the Impact World Champion. And I questioned it at first. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, Rich Swan, really? The Impact World Champion? Him? But uh, after that performance tonight, I understand why he is the champion. And uh, I'm going to uh, keep my eyes open and my mind open. And watch. And... Looks like I'm going to enjoy what Rich Swan is going to bring to the table. I was a big fan of Rich Swan, and then he kind of fell off, but he's really got hopped and fucked back on and is saddling up, if you will, <laughs> for a great world title reign. He is reigning all of us in who are doubters. He is reigning everyone in who isn't aware of just how good of a wrestler he is. I know I just can't put him over enough. You know, Rich Swan is one bad motherfucker. He is amazing. And uh, everyone needs to show a little bit more love to Rich Swan. And Sammy Callahan, you know, he put on a great effort too. You know, let's not forget about him either. And let's not forget about uh, Taya Valkyrie and uh, Rosemary getting a victory tonight. Leading into uh, the tag t the women's uh, tag team title tournament. Those belts are coming back for the first time in, I believe, six or seven years. You know, some, something like that, yeah. Uh, you know, those were the original women's uh, tag team belts of uh, the 21st century, you know. They were around first, and then they'd be years later wanted to have the belts. But just remember, it was Impact. It was TNA who did it first. And let's not forget, they put women's wrestling first in the 21st century as well. You know, Impact has done an amazing job rehabbing their image and rehabbing what they uh, are about. And uh, I believe everyone needs to give TNA another chance. Everyone needs to give Impact another chance. And uh, it's it's something that uh, people said couldn't happen, but this year, especially this uh, last this past summer and this fall so far, man, Impact has been top notch. Like this week, bar none, Impact was the best show on TV. It was better than Raw. It was better than SmackDown. It was better than AEW. And it was definitely better than NXT. Impact is where it's at. And where my head's at is a thumbs up rating 